Well, today I want to show you a little bit of a trail hack as far as it comes to leather working. Uh, and this came out of necessity working out in the mountains, lots of horses, lots of saddle, lots of tack. And the tack would always break, uh, not in the barn, but three days out. So I kind of developed this out of necessity. Uh, a lot of times when you're fixing tack on the trail, it simply means you need to put another hole in it, maybe a little bit of sewing. Today's video is going to be on how to, to really get those good holes put back in your tack because whenever you're carving them out with a knife, a lot of times you can slit the leather, it's going to be a nasty hole. In a lot of ways you can compromise the strength of that strap and you want to be able to take care of your gear as much as possible. To do this, obviously I've got the leather over here as kind of a demo piece, a couple pieces. But what I'm going to be using today, and a lot of people just kind of discard these, are shell casings. Uh, 30 out 6, 38 special and your standard 22 long rifle and we find these a lot i'm out here in texas even in the middle of the mountains on trails i've never been on i'll find these if you're not shooting them yourself so kind of a repurposed uh, second use for something most people throw away let me show you how it's done all right so here's the basic rundown of this you can use just about any shell casing that you come across or you're firing once that bullet's been expended you're going to find that that leading edge that rim is going to be very sharp and that's very useful for punching through leather. I'm going to show you how to use that in just a moment. Now most often I'll use 22 shells. They're also the most plentiful but they've got the standard of size for all of your harness buckles, your belt buckles. It's an all-around pretty universal hull size for punching and that's pretty important. I've also got a couple pieces of leather here and these are kind of going to simulate and illustrate kind of the repair work that I often have to do. Uh, punching holes in leather after three or four days, maybe your horse has gotten skinnier, depending on how hard you're working it. Maybe you've been out in the rain, and stretched out, maybe you had to do a repair job. Uh, really and truly, if you haven't been on horses, you'd be surprised at how many times each day or every other day that you're actually punching holes in leather. So this is a very, very useful trick to do and know. Uh, I'm using a brass hammer, and I don't expect you to actually have this on you, but the back side of your hatchet, a rock, uh, tools improvised from the trail will work just as well. I'm kind of using this just, uh, just for demonstrative purposes. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and take my 22 shell casing right here, and I've got my flat wood base. Uh, you kind of want to use something soft. Rocks are going to mess up your 22 shell or your, your rim casing very quickly. If you've got the wood, a lot of times you can use it over and over again. You're going to want to line up that 22 shell very, very straight up and down to your surface. Uh, if you start to go sideways, even though this is metal and it's fairly strong, it's going to crumple a little bit. So it's very important that you start out very straight. Give it a couple taps. And after a moment or two, the leather's actually going to hold on to it. And that's a good thing because you want to get your fingers out of there. Now as you start to push through the leather, you need to make sure that you are not driving it into the wood too far. Because if you can see here, right there, right there, I've already been playing around and I drove it too far and it didn't want to come out. So I went ahead and hammered it further in. If you're going to want to use that 22 shell multiple times, you want to be careful these last couple taps. Go carefully, double check here and there. Little taps work best. And that's the idea. So, we'll go ahead and do that. It's all the way through. And uh, there you have it. All the way through. Pretty awesome. Nice and clean. You haven't compromised the leather. You haven't had to use your knife to whittle out a hole. It works really well. Uh, you can put very large holes in here, depending on uh, what your use is never know. If you're having to use leather strap and uh, actually tie knots and stuff, a lot of your leather work requires that. You're simply going to take your shell, and this is a 38 Special, and do the same. Again, being careful that you're not driving it into that wood, but check that out. Nice, beautiful, clear cut, uh, just as good as any, any uh, hole punch set, maybe even better, because after a while those hole punches get a little dull. But these are incredibly important. Uh, a lot of the gear that I have, they can get broken, get misplaced. I usually head out with a hole punch set or, or one of the rotary punches. 
but those things can fail you. Uh, they can be lost, and this is something that you can usually pick up along the trail. So hopefully this helps y'all out. A little bit of a trick of the trade, and uh, happy trails. Like and subscribe.